Hello friends, in this session we will be taking a look at how to handle orphan tokens, how to identify the possibility of orphan tokens and how to manage a migration with orphan token uh, policy file. So here we have a simple process which has two inline user tasks and their IDs are shown here for each of the tasks. First we will deploy this process to the process connected process server and create some instances for it. So we created a snapshot, now we are installing it. It is installed. Let's go to the process server now and try to create some instances. So here is our process, we'll create some instances for it. We created five instances for it. Now let's come back to our application and make some changes to the process. What we'll do is basically delete this first task. And all the tokens were on that task, so they will become orphans if not handled properly. Now let's deploy this to the process server. To be able to use a policy file for migration, we should have the action as leave. We'll manually migrate using a policy file from the process server admin console. Previously, there used to be option right here itself, but that option is no longer there. So we'll set it to leave and just install it. It is installed. Now we'll connect to the WS admin, WS admin console of our process server by using this command in this syntax where username is a cell admin username, password is the cell admin password. And the command to run is BPM check orphan tokens. So this command basically compares two uh, snapshots for the possibility of orphan tokens and generates a template or a sample policy file. So we'll be running this command on the server. We have already connected to the WS admin console. The output file has been generated. Let's take a look at it. The policy file which has been generated has identified that the step with so and so ID with the name inline user task will result in an orphan token. And the default action set here is delete, that simply delete the orphan token. But we want to move it to another step, which is the next step. So the syntax for that is like this the target step ID and the name should be specified. So let's pick up the target step ID and the name from our process. So in our process now there is only this task. So we will move all the orphan tokens to this particular step. The ID is this one and it's inline user task one. So I'll set the ID here and the name is inline task one. So 
so we will save this file and now try to migrate using this policy file we will go to the process admin console of the process server and in the installed apps we see that there is a 0.02 with five instances in it and 0.03 with which we just installed with no instances so we'll select the latest snapshot migrate in flight data and specify the policy file which we just created there is a validation process if you have some wrong ids in your policy files it will identify that and give you an error message here now i'll do the migration so attempted five and successful five using so and so policy file so we'll close it and go to process inspector and take a look at the migrated instances so these are the five instances which have been migrated as you can see in the tasks the inline user task one was closed and the task assigned current act, currently active is inline user task one so that is how we do uh, a policy migration in its simplest form but in your processes you may have decision gateways intermediate message events and other activities and artifacts for which uh, the ideal way to get the BPD ID or the target step ID is from REST API because not all the IDs are available in the web process designer. Thank you.